Hey guys, it's Francis. I did these tiger nails for this really cool place that I got to go to over the weekend. If you want to hear more about that, stick around to the end. But I'm going to show you how I got this look. For my base colors, I'm using this Kiss Gel Mood Today and this Patina in Marshmallow. And I have that one on my index finger and my middle finger. And then I'm going to come in with this Wild Shine color and it's got no name on it whatsoever. And I'm going to pop that on my pinky on my ring finger and on my thumb. All the fingers that have the orange color already on them. And I went over them with this color because it's a very sheer color and it's got a beautiful kind of goldy orange sheen to it, which I loved. And then I'm gonna use both of those colors. I'm gonna come in with this dampen makeup sponge and I'm gonna do kind of a half moon. I wanna get a dark to light fade on one of my nails because the belly of a tiger usually has, fades into kind of a white color. So um, that's the look that I was going for on that middle nail. And that sheer color, that sheer orange, the um, wet and wild one, really worked perfectly for this because that white kind of peeks through. So I went ahead and I popped one coat on here, gave it a second to dry, added some more of the polishes, and then came in with a second coat. Then I'm going to extend that sheer color a little bit further over to the side, and I'm going to use just that sheer polish on the sponge on top of that white nail, or the marshmallow colored nail. It's kind of an off-white, it's a yellowy white. Very slight tinge of yellow to it, which is perfect for this. And then I'm gonna use my tweezers, and I'm gonna take off that liquid latex that I already had on my nail. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but I have liquid latex on my index and middle fingers just because the sponging is a mess. And then while I was waiting um, for that this one to dry, that's when I took off the liquid latex and now I, um, I'm coming in with a second coat of that sheer orangey polish. And then I'm going to take this You Are Beautiful 18 plate and that tiger image and I'm coming in with a little queen, pretty sticky stamper because there's very fine lines and it's not etched that well. And I'm using this gorgeous On The Black Braves Diva Polish um, as my stamping polish and I'll get a little more into that in a minute. And then I'm gonna come over with this fast dry top coat. I'm going to make a decal out of this one because I want to position him perfectly on my nail. And then I'm going to come in with a fast dry top coat just to smooth out the sponging that I did and prepare my nails for stamping and decals. And then I'm going to come in with this EJB01 from Edubus and those beautiful tiger stripes. And this is the on the black polish again, this Brave Diva polish. I was testing it for her, uh, so I didn't show you a bottle shot because I didn't know if I could use it, but look at how beautifully black and opaque and lovely that stamps. I am in love with the stamping polish. Guys, head over to her website. I will link it below. Make sure you pick up a bottle. It is divine. And I picked up my stamper very lightly after I stamped this because it's all of those lines. If you, if you pull it up too fast, the lines are going to flop on top of one another. So you have to be very, very careful. And I went ahead and put those tiger stripes on every nail but my index finger. And I somehow I missed the stamping on my middle finger. I don't know how I did that. But then I'm gonna come in with this fast dry top coat so that those um, lines, those tiger stripes don't go anywhere so they don't migrate off my nail. And I'm going to be very gentle and I'm going to add quite a bit of that top coat um, so I don't drag it because I certainly don't want this to um, smear. And it didn't. It didn't smear at all. I was hap very, very happy. And then I'm going to come in with my tweezers and pull off that decal after it's dried. I probably could have let this dry for another minute, but I am very impatient. But when you do this, um, if it's just barely dry, you need to be very careful that you're not um, stretching out the decal. And of course, I was completely off camera while I was doing this, sorry guys. Um, but I will show you in a second. 
And of course I'd be off camera because I did it perfectly. If I had messed it up, it would have been completely on camera for all posterity to see. But, you know, and I had very little cleanup with this. It fit just perfectly on my nail. And then to clean up those tiger stripes on my finger, I'm just gonna come in with some regular old scotch tape. And I did have to use a little bit of acetone um, just to pick up a little bit, but most of those pulled up really beautifully with the scotch tape. Uh, very minimal cleanup. And there is my final look. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think below. Um, and stick around. I'm gonna show you some pictures of some of the kitty cats that we saw. Big Cat Rescue is a nonprofit organization and they're located in the Tampa area and your tour pays to feed the big cats. Um, I will link their website below if you'd like more information, but it was a really cool experience for us. Um, but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna thank you for spending your time with me. I will see you guys again next time. I have a little video coming up of one of the cats. Afterwards, make sure you turn up your volume so you can hear her. Good job.